Hi guys, it's Pete from MyJuryBench.com. I'm going to answer a question that somebody posted up on the YouTube channel. They wanted to know um, what the procedure was for installing add-ons and where to get them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my three favorite add-ons that I'm using right now for jewelry design and general modeling and where you can get them and how to install them. Let's get started. Okay, so first things first, when designing uh, jewelry and blender or designing anything else, we're gonna work with add-ons. Add-ons are little things that we use that allow us to make our lives a little simple when we're modeling things. Of course, I talked a little bit last week about jewel craft as I am now using it again, since it seems to be generally improved. There are also some other things here. We have um, in, the, in tools, we have some other uh, add-ons that we can use when we're working with models. For instance, if I select an object here, uh, let's just get out of here, start a new file. We have the 3D print add-on which comes with Blender and I'll show you how to add that to your modeling just in case you don't have that added. So you can see once you select an object, you can use the 3D print tool and then we can check it for, you know, if it's a solid item and whether or not it's gonna print without errors. Well, anyway, this is supposed to be about getting the add-ons that we're using and how to install them. So first things first, you must know how to use your computer to create a folder. In that folder, we're going to name it Blender uh, Add-ons. You can name it whatever you want, put it wherever you want. So as long as you know how to add a folder to your desktop or your documents folder, um, just go ahead and do that now. Create a, a, an empty folder where we can put the add-ons that we'll be using. The next step we want to do is go to the websites that we're going to be using. Now, I did show you where to go to get uh, Jewelcraft. Um, that is right at this address here. So you go to that web address. Again, the links will be in the description below, so make sure you check those out. Um, at the GitHub uh, link for this, and then you're going to click on the clone or download. So, for instance, if I click on that, depending on your... Uh, browser you want to download the zip file and then you want to make sure that it goes to a specific location so for instance I'm going to just create a desktop uh, I'm going to go to my desktop I'm going to create a new folder and it's a little bit if you're using a Windows PC but I'm sure you all know how to do that we'll call this blender add-ons for 2.8 that's all I'm going to do and then I'm just going to double click that folder and I'm going, to, I'm going to move that item into this. So where'd it go? Download. Got to make sure we open that up there. And I'm going to go to my desktop and put that in the Blender 2.8 add-on folder. And there it is. There's our first one, Jewelcraft. I might have confused that a little bit, so I'm just going to get a little bit more specific with the next one. Now, 3d-wolf.com. This is a, a website that I've gone to to get a product. Go to the products page, and we're going to go to PBR Materials, an add-on which allows Blender to model specific things. You can watch a little video about how to use it here. These are uh, images of what the PBR materials look like. And then we have metals here. So, for instance, I use the gold and the silver and some other materials a lot when I'm doing modeling. Um, you don't have to use this, but when you're rendering something and you want to print something out for a customer or create an image of something and then send it to somebody, it really makes the item look pretty much real. So I suggest this product is well worth getting. So when you go to this products page down to materials, you'll end up here. On the right side, you'll see it says download. Click on the download. It should download to your browser and then you just want to make sure that you move that PBR's material into your downloaded folder for the add-ons. Now the last thing I use is my uh, asset manager. Now I use a free asset manager. The person who writes this simple asset manager actually has a paid version. It's right here. It is a little bit of an improvement over the old free version. I'm still using the old free version, so I'm going to just go ahead and download that one again. And once it comes through on your browser, we have Simple Asset Manager, and I'm just going to move that over to my desktop into that new folder we created. 
So I've got those three zip files here. There is no need to decompress them. Leave them all zipped up just the way they are. And once you know where they are, that's perfect. We're going to go ahead and close our folder so that we can go back to Blender. And I'm going to close my browser up. <clears throat> okay, so once you're back in Blender, the next thing you're going to want to do is get ready to install those three add-ons. I already have them installed, but I'm going to show you basically how to go and install them. On the menus option, the menus tabs up at the top, you're going to click the edit menu, come down to preferences, and that will bring up our Blender preference options here. So to install a new add-on, go over to your add-ons tab right here and click on install. That's going to open up a little file explorer. It should look like this whether you're on a Mac or a PC. And then you're going to go over to wherever you located that new folder where you put those zipped files into. In my case, I put them on my desktop. On my desktop, I have Blender add-ons for 2.8. I'm going to open that up. And there are my three downloaded files, the Asset Manager, the PBR Materials, and Jewelcraft. So if I want to, I could click on Jewelcraft and come over here to where it says in the bottom right corner, Install Add-on. And when I click on that, it should bring you over to Jewelcraft. Now I already have one open, so there's no reason to have two, but you can put a little checkbox if it's not already checked. That will activate the add-on, and then you can simply set your properties up with inside. It is the same procedure for the uh, PBR materials. You're going to go to File, or, or you're going to go to the, men the Edit menu down to Preferences. You're going to click on the Add-ons tab, hit Install, select PBR materials. Once you've installed that, if I come over to PBR, you'll have Material, PBR materials. There'll be a little arrow next to it where you can expand the box and then put a check in the little box here to make sure that it's active. Once that's active, over on the properties side of everything, you'll see a little properties tab here for the color or materials options. And you should see this new PBR materials where you can select any of the materials. Now let's look at installing the asset manager. You're going to click on that. Click on the install. I'm not going to do that because I already have that activated. But once you've installed it, you should have a tab that looks like this. Simple asset manager. There should be a little check mark. If there's not a check mark, make sure you put it there. You can click on the little arrow here to expand that. And that is basically where we store all our information for our asset manager. <clears throat> for some reason, it isn't working right, so I'm going to reinstall that. File, preferences. To remove an add-on, if you've screwed it up or made a mistake and you want to remove an add-on, Usually you'll see a button that says remove. I'm going to go ahead and remove that now. And I'm press OK so that it removes that. And come over here and clear that out. Type in install, simple asset manager 2. And you see it, once you activate it, it turns dark. And it should look like this where we can pick our library. Now my library is on a different hard drive. I'm just going to choose that now. I have mine in my docs, Blender Gems Library, and hit Accept. Basically, you can activate any folder that you want to keep your objects in. So if you create it, if you create an item, you know, whatever you're designing for 3D modeling, you can save that anywhere. And if you save it in the folder where we linked this document or this, this address to, it will show up in our uh, our asset manager box. Let's just close this up and I'll show you what I mean. If I come over to simple asset manager, right now I can go over to, let's say here, heads, pick square, and now I have multiple images of the things that I've designed for heads. And I could choose any one of those and append it into my 
design just like so those are the three add-ons that I use and how to install them. I hope this helped. If it did help, guys, give it a thumbs up and share it if you can, because the more you share, the more it helps my channel grow. If you're not a subscriber, consider hitting, hitting the subscribe button. All the subscription uh, makes my channel grow a little bit more. It gets a little more views on YouTube. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a good day.